I mean, first of all, my point is, it's not like I have to make a new plan because the plan works. The plan is good. Well, this ain't no party and this ain't no disco. This is LA, Lake Atalanta. It's a beautiful morning here, Lake Atalanta and Rogers, Arkansas. And I'm on this trail for the first time since last year. It's a really nice kind of there's a kind of a fog, misty fog in the distance. And, um, plans and executions, you know, it's obvious that uh, that I need, you know, something to change. Um, it's obvious that I'm not in the shape I was in. And uh, it's gotten to a pretty bad point over the last year in particular. There's a few things. I mean, first of all, my point is it's not like I have to make a new plan because the plan works. The plan is good. I don't have to worry about the plan not working trying to come up with something new to get a different result. I don't want a different result. I want the same result because I like the result. I can use the same plan. And the plan is easily found. It's been documented on over 200 episodes of Running a Fever. Especially the first hundred episodes and uh, I don't even have to go back and listen to them all because I recorded them all I can I can remember still what the plan is and I have some other documentation too so I've gotten out and uh, it's been, it's easier because we don't have to wear masks anymore in this country and uh, so I'm out here in my usual places um, earlier this week I went to the old stomping grounds of Lake Fayetteville today I'm at Lake Atlanta again and today, I'm going to walk two miles, uh, which is good. That's going to be uh, not a new record or anything, but it's uh, probably the most I've walked intentionally in a while. Uh, the walking around my house was generally limited to about a mile or 20 minutes <clears throat> and last time I went uh, about a mile maybe a little more than a mile at Lake Fayetteville so should be a good day I smell the honeysuckle right beside me and uh, it's rather humid today. So I'm formulating a plan within the plan. And the uh, first part of that involves assessing where I am. So if I don't know where I am, how am I going to get where I want to go? Got to have a starting point. 
So I need to start tracking how far I'm walking. Um, my body fat, all those things that I used to track, make sure I was on the right track. It's actually good. We've been having a lot of rain yesterday, lately. So a change will do me good. One of the uh, things that's going to have to change is exercise. The other, another thing is uh, diet. <laughs> diet will have to change. Medicine even, you know, we got the whole three tiers of running a fever here, fitness, diet, and medicine. One of the things I've neglected over the past couple of years is dental health, meaning I've not been to a dentist or had my teeth cleaned or any of that kind of stuff. My old dentist retired and I haven't found a new one. I got an idea. So I'm going to go to that guy and see how it goes. But that's one of the things I need to get back to. Practicing what I preach here. And availing myself of medical professionals. Really strong honeysuckle here. Didn't have a lot of rain and it's looks like it's rained here in the last few hours. Some places it's kind of wet. Uh, it rained for a long time yesterday. And hopefully we'll have one clear day. I like rain, but uh, I don't like it all week long. Another thing I'm going to have to do, and I guess I can look back at this episode at some point, get all the questions that I'm, the you know, sort of laundry list of things I need to change. Check them off as I change them. And I'm already starting to feel a little tightness in my back. One of the things that happens when we get heavier, all these little additional problems associated with obesity come up. I'm going to have a, at least one episode coming up on obesity. But I can tell you from my own personal experience, a lot of that stuff is coming back, knee pain, swelling of the lower legs, back pain, breathlessness, stuff like that. Not a lot of fun, but there are even more serious consequences too, which I'm sure we will talk about. So, changing that diet from what I have now let me see. Actually, it wasn't bad yesterday. I still have these recipes, these things around the house. There's a lot of about my diet that's still there. Last night I had turkey tacos. For lunch I had a sandwich. It was a particularly fatty sandwich, but. Uh, was just a sandwich. In the morning I had yogurt with some grape nuts in it. So not a not a bad day calorie wise, uh, but I don't know exactly how many calories there were because I'm not keeping track of it. Go back to number one thing I need to do. Assess and track. What I can tell from this walk 
maybe it didn't matter as much when I was lighter, but I uh, think I need uh, new walking shoes. Had these for at least a couple years. I did a show on these uh, Abeo Active walking shoes when I first bought them and uh, I need to do another show on a new set of walking shoes. Um, put a lot of miles on these but they're uh, just kind of shaky. So to get that diet underway uh, I think one of the things I'm going to do is just go back and I have when I was counting my calories, I had these uh, uh, pads of paper that I would just write what I ate throughout the day and the number of calories. And I would also kind of track my, informally track my weight on here and I could uh, go back to that if I wanted to pull any statistics or see what happened when I had a certain eating pattern and a certain weight pattern um, so I can go back to those just take out that stack of notepads that I still have <clears throat> and start from there I mean if I eat and exercise like I did in 2018 then I should achieve what I achieved in 2018. Doesn't that make sense? Eventually. So my plan is to follow the old plan. <laughs> and I've had uh, several plans as this podcast has evolved, but uh, that one really worked. And I developed it not, it wasn't this point in the year. It was probably March when I started on a more reasonable uh, diet. First couple months of the year, I was just starving myself. Lost a lot of weight, <laughs> but I was starving myself. It wasn't healthy. So, you know, definitely going to take longer to get there because I'm going to be doing it right. Just like I've expressed to you over all this time. This is how we do it right. Because for me, it's not about uh, losing a bunch of weight right now. <clears throat> Which is probably why my podcast and... Uh, YouTube channel aren't getting uh, millions of views, subscribers, etc. Not getting millions just yet, but if I said, here's how to lose weight fast, probably get a lot more. But what's the point of that? My purpose, as far as this podcast goes, is to live a long, healthy, happy, active life right up to the very end. And I want that for you too. And I hope you want it. Because whatever your purpose in life is, that will make it easier and better to achieve. So if I can overcome the health challenges I have that I can control, I can achieve my goal. I can't control everything, that's for sure. But the things that I can control, I want to control. I want to improve where I can improve. And like that. And I want a lot of people to get the fever for good health. So why don't you tell a couple of friends? If you like what you're hearing and seeing here, And we can do that too. So if you got the fever, keep it. If 
you don't have the fever, catch it. And I will talk to you next time. Money fever.